Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable, to make Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams, or hiring those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money, and it's not a very good idea of long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll out to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide, and I'll respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos lately, because a subscriber actually, uh, he asked me how I can show the only selected variants images on the Shopify product page by using a simple trick, because most of the tutorials online, they require too many steps, and also it's a little bit complicated for people that are not familiar with Shopify. In this video, I will show you how to hit two birds with one stone. Yes, you heard that right, because in this video, I will show you how to do that, which is basically showing only the selected product variants images on your Shopify product page, whatever if you're using Down Team or you're using Horizon, which is the new variants, I mean the new Shopify team and the other variants as well. And by using this same trick, you will actually optimize the product images for the alt text, which is standards for uh, alternative text, which means uh, how Google search engine and other search engines actually read images by reading the alt text on them so they can understand what it is. But to be honest with you, I think algorithm now already understand what the image is just by looking at the image. But either way, it's very handy to have it. So as I said, in this video, you will actually, in order to show only the selected variant images on the product page, you have to optimize the product images, the alt text for better SAU or search engine optimization. So you will do one thing and you will achieve two things. <laughs> And I will provide you with the second call. It's very simple. You know how to do copy and paste. That's the only thing you will need in this video. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video, I add small customizations. By the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I'll reach that level halfway. For example, check out this scroller logos. As you can see with the fade at the corners, and it's actually clickable for each image. If I want, if you want to add a link or even better, check out the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. Yes, you heard that right. And you can show a limited, actually up to 27 recent sales notification on your Shopify store. You can pick for who to show up to and many, many more options. Or you wanna see something that will make you more money? Check this out. So as you can see, I have four products added to the cart and I didn't check out. Now I would act just like I wanna leave or close the page. As you can see, this is the mouse cursor. So I would act just like I wanna leave and this thing would show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. As you can see, four items and by using your own custom code and it only shows up when the user is trying to leave and he didn't check out. And of course a button so he can pay you the money he owes you. And this is by using your own custom code, as I said. But, as I said in this video, I will show you how to show only the selected variant images on the product page, and it works for every Shopify team. Whatever if you're using Down Team or Refresh or any other variants that uh, was released by, uh, or released at the same time with Down, it will work for you just fine. Or if you are using the newer version, which is Horizon Team, and the other new version that were, were released with it as well, it will work for you just well. It will require actually two different calls for each one, but I will provide you with both of them. But before we proceed, please hit that like button and leave me a comment because there is a lot of people that would copy the code and make their own videos just like they spent time writing the code and they didn't. I did. And they just copy and paste and they make their own videos. It's a little bit demotivating, so I would really appreciate if you can hit that like button. And that will motivate me actually to share more things with you guys and also make them happy so they can copy more things for me as well. And also, I don't reply to each comment, so I would reply to you. And also, it's free. I mean, the comment is free, the like is free, and the calls is free as well. So, <laughs> let me close this, actually. In this tutorial, I will not do demonstration on Down Team, but it's the same exact steps. Whatever, if you're using Down or any team, it's the same exact step. But this one has so many stuff. If I access the product page in here, 
you will see too many things as you can see. So we will do demonstration on uh, the newer team, which is Horizon. So let me close this one. And as I said, it works for every Shopify team. So let me open up Horizon team. Here is, let me navigate to a product page from here. Uh, let me access this product. This is a very good example. By the way, shadow effect on the product cards on Horizon. I did that in the tutorial completely free again. So this one is a very, is a very good example because I have multiple variants and they have different colors as you can see. But if I scroll down, it shows all the pictures as you can see. All the pictures for all the variants are visible. I want, if I select the black, black or red for example, I only want to show the red. As you can see, still blue here and also the black is still here. So I want only to show me the red variant pictures. That's exactly what we're to do in this video. So the first thing we need to do is optimize the image for SEO. And you might be thinking, what that has to do with this? It has to do with this. So as I said, it's two birds, one stone. First, get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are in Shopify dashboard, click on the search bar at the top of the page, then simply search for the product that you want to add the future on. For example, as I said, in my case, I want to add it on this product. Simply, I'm going to search for shirt. I already see it in here. And here is my product. And after that, it will show you the description and so on, the images for the variants. As you can see, make sure it's each variant has its own images. Just like I see, what is, this is very normal. And each product variant, as you can see, blue, all products blue. And here, all black. And below, red is all the variants are red. After that, scroll up to the product images. So in here, click on each variant. The first one is the red one. So I'm gonna do demonstration on this picture first. So simply I'm gonna click on it, click on the product picture, and in here you will see all text on the right of the screen, as you can see. And I explain what this stands for, it's alternative text. And this one is very good for SAU. It can help algorithms and search engines understand what this picture is about. So simply type in anything for example uh, this is a t-shirt so i'm gonna type in t-shirt and the color for it however the color has to match the variant for example let me actually leave in here and show you so this one uh, says red as you can see this is case sensitive so for example if you did type in the first letter not capital just like the example it will not work so make sure to type in exactly the name for the variants, whatever it's silver or um, anything, depends on your variants. In my case, it's red, so I'm gonna type in exactly how it's written on the variant name. That's very important, otherwise it will not work. So as I said, I'm gonna type in t-shirt, which is very good for uh, search engine optimization, then red, as you can see, let me zoom in on it. So I did type in red exactly as the variant uh, name. So I'm gonna do that for each product in here. Uh, I did s s save this, so I'm gonna do it for blue as well and the others. And this is a good example again. Uh, as you can see, the, the picture, the variant I have is lake blue. No worries, even if you have a color variant like this, lake blue, you just have to type in the color. In my case, blue doesn't, it's not a, uh, like uh, the first letter is capital, so I'm gonna type in blue without the first letter capital. And it will actually work. You don't have to write in the full, the full thing, and you, or you can do, it doesn't matter. So in my case, I'm gonna type in uh, t-shirt like blue, just like you see. And let me do that for the other ones and we get back. So here we go. Now I optimized each picture with the alternative text for it. So now search engines actually can read what the picture is about and that will be helpful for us in the future. Uh, as you can see, if I click on this one, uh, t-shirt like blue, uh, the red one again, uh, t-shirt red. So make sure to do this for each variant and set the alternative text. So the search engines can actually understand what the product is about and that will help you get discovered through the search engines. Now we are done with the first step. Let's just click on the save button. Now we get back to online store from the left panel right here. Uh, it didn't save, click on save. Okay, now we click on online store. Then we will navigate to the team customizer. In your case, if you use in here, click on customize. In my case, I'm gonna use it on the this one. So I click on customize and it will take you to the team customizer. And from the top of the page, we need to navigate to the product page. And yeah, floating WhatsApp button is very, very flexible. Again, make sure to check it out. I'm gonna click on home page and I'm gonna click on products. I'm gonna select the default template I'm using for the product. Then it will show me the product page. And in here, simply click on the 
below template where you see uh, product information simply click on it to be expanded then scroll down and click on the last one below the last one and you will see the plus button it says add block then click on plus button and click the search use the search bar in here and type in custom and you will see custom liquid this option right here simply click on it then it will show you a prompt on the right of the screen this time where you can paste in some custom code and where are you gonna get that code you need to hire a developer pay him with 24 hours i'm just joking scroll down the description box and you will see a link my website simply click on it and download a zip file it's completely free again you don't have to pay for it i will just appreciate if you can hit that like button and leave me a comment that will help be helpful so simply download a zip file then open it or actually let me show you how it looks like what it has basically and here it is because as i said we have two files first one as you can see it says down you can guess what that is so this is if you are using down team you're doing the trick on down team use this file if you are using horizon or any other variants like the other ones that were released with horizon use this file and again if you are using refresh or spotlight or sense or any other thing that was released with down use this one it's very simple right but in my case as you can see i'm using horizon so i'm gonna open up this one so simply open up the file that you're using whatever it's down or horizon then copy the whole code inside it then simply paste it in here that's very simple right now, if we click on the save button, we get back to the product page and reload the page and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page. Now I'm selecting red, as you can see. If I select like black, for example, it switched to black. If I scroll down, let me scroll down. There is no more other variants, just the black color. If I switch to lake blue, again, t-shirt lake blue, no more other variants. It will not show the other pictures at all it will show only the selected variants picture again back to red and only the red variants and that's how you optimize your product images for the search engine by using the alt text and also show only the selected variants which is two birds one stone as i promised now i would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment i don't reply to each comment that will motivate me actually to make more videos for you guys but for now i think my job it is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one